Okay. What's up, guys? Pain is gonna here, and this is the last mission on Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain that I have to S rank. And seeing as I have been having a pretty tough time with it, I figured I just do what makes me feel good, try and make a video out of it. So here we are. Um, this is uh, no backup, no back down, or something like that. Um, yeah, and I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, I don't, the problem that I kind of have with this mission is that um, I enjoy playing it so much. It's so much fun. The things that you do in this mission are just so much fun. Because you're blowing up tanks, right? And there is absolutely nothing cooler than blowing up tanks. And uh, extracting tanks and fighting snipers and stuff like that. So what I've got at the moment, we've got the horse the armor I've got um, rocket launcher and my machine gun and today I'm actually wearing my parasite armor because oh they haven't got any fucking ammo because I keep restarting instead of going back to the uh, instead of going back to the base I just keep restarting the mission every time I fail um, it says I can't even let me see if I can do that because that's worrying if it won't let me do it. That's a bad start immediately. It might be that I've used all my parasites on previous missions. Yeah, that's what it is. I've used all my armor parasites. But that doesn't make any sense because I failed those missions. Um, nonetheless, that means that we are doing this basically hard. I'm going to be doing this hard. Harder than what it should be. Because normally I have uh, armor with me. So I'm going to piss this guy off. I'm going to turn around and give me a little look. Or just fit his fucking neck with uh, tranquilizing darts. Now, when I've looked up previous ways on doing this, um, a lot of people, they strap C4 to this and then just blow it up. But seeing as there is actually a mission objective to extract uh, some tanks and stuff, I tend to always extract it. But um, I think that mission objective, actually saying that out loud, is to straight up extract tanks, not to extract whatever that was. So, go whistle for D horse to come and get me. And he's going to stand there like an asshole. So, we actually have a vehicle closing in right now. As I say, this is me. I'm kind of handicapped now because I've got um, no parasites, so I've got no extra armor. So when it comes to me versus tank, tank is going to win. I've got no camouflage on because, like I said, I was going to use the parasite armor. This is actually kind of a good start because I haven't been spotted whatsoever. Oh my god, you asshole. That's mean. That's my horse. Dido, he's okay. So there's a ton of um, other mission objectives during this mission. It's not just extracting and killing um, tanks. There's also a load of terrorists um, that have taken hostages around this area that I need to extract as well as... Um, just a couple key targets that may come into force a little bit later on. Um, but it's all to do with points. It's all to do with revenge, Snake. So this one has spotted me. And he may just shoot me immediately to death. Because I can't get close now. So what I'm going to do is try one shot. See how much damage it does to the back. Doesn't kill him. So I'm going to just steal him. And he gets wormholed away. Sorry, Reds, that belongs to the dogs now. So I got a target over that way, target in front. I'm going to keep looking out to the ocean, or the uh, river even, the river, to see if there's a hostage that's walking through. Also, later on, there is going to be four uh, guards who are going to be looking for the hostage, and there's like an award for taking them out. So what I want to do really is have D-Dog stand in the middle of the street. So 
So the hope is that happens. I shocked him so much that he drove forward and then stopped. So it gave me the chance to just immediately uh, explore him like that. And that gives us the maximum ammo that we need to basically finish the whole level. Because now I've got 12 shots with a rocket launcher. Um, and of course I've got all my C4 as well. So, uh, so at this point in the mission we need to look for the hostage. Just to see if he's down. Walking along the riverbed. So as I say, I'm just going to be glancing down there for him, just to see if I can spot him walking about. I can't as of yet, so I may actually just need to go down there, ride along, see if I uh, spot him. But in terms of this mission right now, we're actually doing pretty good, because I haven't been spotted. Uh, actually, well, I got spotted by the tanks, but they're gone, so it makes no real difference. Normally I end up doing something stupid and getting uh, spotted by the guys back at the base who have their mortars, which um, isn't very helpful. So these guys here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down and put a couple rounds into their tires. So it's at that point that I really would have liked to have used my um, Parasite armor. I did think this was going to work. Oh, I think I got a tank coming in too. Apparently, I missed. I don't know where that went. So, we're going to see if that did enough damage. Did enough damage to demobilize him. Just like that, we're going to send... Oh, I guess I just sent that guard away instead of sending the car away. Okay. So that guy's now safe. So we're going to just do that. <laughs> just so I don't have to deal with him later, just in case he comes back to bite me in the ass. So yeah, once again, I'm going to grab the horse. Something that I'm actually... I'm not used to using the horse. To be honest, he kind of sucks. Um, very, I've died a lot because of this stupid horse. And it's like I kind of push him in one direction and um, he keeps going, even though like if I change my mind and actually realize it's a really bad idea. Um, he keeps going and I end up just getting killed. Like I end up falling off of the uh, side of this like little cliffside area quite often. No sign of the other hostage yet. There he is. Beautiful, just what I wanted. So I think that the objective in this is to, to save... Uh, you have to extract four tanks and six prisoners. And that's the second prisoner. I have no idea where the other prisoners are yet. I haven't actually looked into it. Because um, like I said, I actually quite enjoy this mission. Because it is kind of the fun action-based side of Metal Gear Solid. So I haven't really looked into like, oh, you know, how do I do all the tasks? I just want to play it, see if I can find out myself. But um, this is uh, a little bit trickier, this bit, because we've got two of them. I normally try to hit them both on the arse, uh, which kind of, what it looks like, it looks like I set off the missiles that they are holding at the back. This is bad, because they can actually just shoot me dead right now, so. Though I can go and extract that one there in front, but this time I'm just going to kill him off. We'll try and get them off. Is that one dead? Yep, that one's dead. That one... Doesn't feel like dying off just yet. This is tough, because if he does get some shots in, it really hurts. If he doesn't get to, completely immobilized. Reload my rocket launcher. And that is him dealt with. Now the last, uh, one, of, well, one of the last optional objectives, there should be four soldiers who are looking for the guy that I just extracted, um, and they should be the over that side of the river. Now I took them all down before and extracted them, 
but for some reason didn't get the bonus for it which is really strange I don't know why that happened but it happened you know moving on so now we've got this other vehicle over here who has a rocket launcher on the back which we need to take So what I'm going to do once again do the light up the tires jump off now forgive me if I'm doing this wrong but what I'm going to do is take it and then take my one back because I think I have more ammo for it I'm going to do that yeah actually what I'm going to do is see that's not going to explore it's just going to drop there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for now and see if it has a lock on That's a shame. Wow, still didn't hit him. Yep, took him out. Thank God for that. Now I've got one more shot in this one. There is my other one. It took a lot of damage though. Very difficult to do that without taking any damage, which is why I wanted the power slide armor. So I'm going to really quickly double check my mission objectives. So it says extracted free tanks. And that is because right now there are free tanks at play on the battlefield as we speak. Um, again, I don't really know the best way to steal free tanks apart from what I've already shown thus far. Um, this is where the game gets kind of tricky. Because there is soldiers that are at play, so to speak. They're definitely around. And normally I'd slap on Parasite Armor and then just go running through this whole area. Because one of them, as you just saw there, that line of sight, one of them saw me. So, so he's up there, facing away from me. So I'm going to try and go for this optional objective. Saves me doing the work later and hopefully really pushes towards my S rank. But as I say, okay, let's go. And the problem I have with this one, it's kind of like trying to capture a live snake because if he sees you, you're fucking dead. So I'm going to hit him, shock him, extract him. Perfect. 9, 11 objectives complete. Hmm. Illuminati confirmed. So we've got two more tanks i got to go get. Uh, let's try and figure out the best way. Seems like there's pretty much just one road. Goes through. Um, I might even... It's tough. I might call in the tank. Uh, I'm going to call in one of my helicopters to land at that base um, just to serve as like a distraction. Now, hopefully, doing that doesn't cause me to lose my S rank. It's not a tank. Uh, it's not like a helicopter to call in and help me. It's a helicopter to call in and pick me up. So it doesn't count as like a minus score, even though it does cost a lot of money to get in to come in and land. But yeah, him landing in there, hopefully, that distracts absolutely everybody. So yeah, as you can see, cover fire in heart, he's going to be busy dealing with those. Hopefully they don't shoot him down. They might do, you know, and even if they do, whatever, I'm past that point now, so it doesn't even matter that much. Um, this is, again, it's, it's really difficult because we've got two more tanks left. I really want to go pick him up because what it means is that later on I don't ever have to go and try and extract the tanks ever again. Sorry if I'm repeating myself a little bit. Sorry the clicking of the controller, if that's loud as well. This is going to be tough. I think you saw me. No! Oh, fuck me. And that's why I wanted to try a video of this, to try and get that fucking reaction. God fucking damn it. 
Ugh. 15 minutes of my life wasted. I didn't even... I can't even. That, that's where I'm at with this game. Like that, that's my fourth try in the last, like, two, three hours. Uh, that's where I'm at with this fucking mission. And when I click to, uh, click to load the checkpoint, I can't even talk. I'm so mad. Fuck that. That's so lame. I didn't even hesitate. I was just taking my taking my shot as I walked around the corner and he just blew the fuck out of me. So that was better. I felt really good with that run. But yeah, as you can see now, I'm right at the fucking start of the mission. None of the objectives have been done. Or am I? Let's have a look. So what does it say? Where am I at right now? Is it telling me to start the whole mission again? Because if I can just call the helicopter and leave, I doubt that's what's going to happen, right? I'm going to try that anyway. Let's call in the helicopter to see if I can just fucking get the hell out of here. But I don't think I've done the mission. But yeah, there you go. That is the last mission. Nah, so you eliminate the Soviet fire vehicles. I'm going to abandon the mission. And go and get some more power slides. But that is where I'm at with Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, yeah, I'm pretty frustrated because I just cannot get this done perfectly. I really need to S rank it and I'm done with all the main missions for now. And now I want my Raiden armor, my Cyborg Ninja armor. So, yeah, thank you for watching the video. I'm sorry that I couldn't put it off like I really wanted to. But there you go, I tried my best. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do it properly. Cheers for watching. Have a good one.